It's always great to learn about stories of the past And how we went from moving slow to moving so darn fast Sit back and relax and learn something you didn't know Here's a little history from the mo. Alright, today we're going to tell you something you didn't know about the mo. So this is uh, one of our cases here on Stuart Rusa, and above me is a zebra. Yep, his name's Frank. Claremore, home of the zebras. All right, so Stuart Rusa, did you guys know that next year is going to be the 50th anniversary of Apollo 14? We're planning something pretty special. Stay tuned. This is the state flag of Oklahoma that Stuart Rusa brought with him on the Apollo 14 mission. As an Air Force fighter pilot, he believed in serving his country and his community. In his junior and senior years of high school, he won the Oklahoma State Woodworking Championship. He was proud to be from Oklahoma. This flag represents that we all need to find ways to serve beyond ourselves and support our communities and our country. In the middle of our exhibit, is Stuart Bruce's tissue box that was on his spacesuit during the Apollo 14 mission. A box of ordinary tissues, yet vital to the importance of the mission. This item represents Stuart as an ordinary boy growing up outside of Claremore, but his role on Apollo 14 was critical to the success of the mission. So the theme of the tissue box is that any of us from a small town to a big city can work hard and achieve great things. The star plotter here in the exhibit is what Stuart used to get around the moon. He still has the longest solo orbit recorded by any astronaut. 33 hours all by his lonesome. Stuart had teachers at Claremore who inspired him and challenged him to learn and expand his knowledge. He used his mind to plot his navigational path by the stars to reaching the moon. Again, the theme that all of us with help and support can learn to navigate our way through life to a higher purpose. After Stuart would give a speech, he would always conclude by saying, go out tonight and look at the moon. There are six American flags planted on its surface. No other country has accomplished this goal. Go out tonight and be proud of the United States. Don't forget to check out our Learn tab on our website, claremoremo.org. There you can find some really neat things to learn more about Stuart Rusa. During our fifth grade programs, we always recreate the star plotter. So if you're interested in uh, making one of these at home, really cool, um, we will send you the resources that you need if you're interested. So make sure and check that online at our website, and feel free to email me at andy at claremoremo.org. Once again, our website is claremoremo.org. Don't forget the .org or the Claremore Mo. All right. This right here is what I like to call Blake's table. Blake is a part of our junior curator program, and he's been building a Lego model of the NASA Apollo Saturn V, which is the same one Stuart Rusa flew up in to the moon. So while Blake's been working on this, we've kind of been letting him do his own thing. This is a 14 plus, and Blake's not 14 yet, so he's having a lot of fun with this. So once he's able to, uh, to come in and finish this, we're so excited. This is actually going to kind of soar around the museum as an educational artifact which is going to be great. <laughs> Love it. So, uh, really excited for Blake to be back at work. He's been gone for a while and uh, I'm running out of Germex. So, we're very hopeful he can be back soon. Thank you so much for tuning in to learn a little bit about the Mo, hopefully something you didn't know.